Happy birthday, Leo. Welcome to Fantasy Lighthouse. We're going to be taking a look at the recent past, the present, and the future. To book a private session, all of that info can be found in the description box below of this video. Let's get started. Spirit, please provide me with messages in reference to the recent past when it comes to energies that surround Leo. This could be a lover, a friend, a family member, a co-worker, anybody. Talk to me about energies surrounding Leo in the recent past. Tell me more about energies. All right. So... What I'm getting here is some of you guys could be dealing with another fire sign around you, an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius. You have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, and you also have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, all right? So I feel that when it comes to your family and the plans that you guys are making, that's going really well for you. All right. However, there could be an energy around you that is a little jealous. I'm not going to lie. OK, with this nine of wands energy, you already know who this person is. They shouldn't be around the family like that. If this person wants to come around just to interview you or to find out more information is what I'm getting about this energy over here now. There could be an energy of an air sign, a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius that is a little blocked off right now, okay? There's something wrong with this air sign, not in a negative way. I just feel like there's something that they don't want to talk about, and it's just contradicting. It conflicts you. Somebody here is bothered by something, all right? So I see that you're making great plans for success in the future. You could be feeling like, yes, I'm finally on the right path. It's my birthday season. And next year, there's some type of big move that you're making next year. I don't know if you're actually going to be relocating, but that's been on your mind a little bit. What if you lived over there? What if you lived somewhere else is what I'm getting it's like, that's what you're saying. So a lot of you guys, I see you moving by next year or something like that. Um, at times you have to switch up your environment in order to think differently. And perhaps you're finding that where you reside right now needs to take some type of change. And it's like, you don't wanna be there anymore or something like that is what I'm getting. Leo, this energy of gossip, you know that this person or these people, you shouldn't associate with them. It's like these are troublemakers, okay? I don't know who they are, who it is. Just don't entertain them, okay? Now, this Libra, this Gemini, this Aquarius energy you want to know more or someone's trying to find out more about what's going on with this air sign but it's like we can't quite get it because they don't speak up enough about what we really want to hear about okay and i'm not talking about every air sign i'm just talking about you know when it comes to who you're associated with you feel like this person has something hidden if it's not an air sign there's somebody that's hiding something and you know it and you want to know more about it or something like that. Okay, let's talk about the present. All right, we have Pisces energy in the present moment. Talk to me about Pisces energy coming out in the present for Leo. What's that all about? What's that all about here? What is this Pisces energy for Leo? Okay. So you think a lot about something that you don't want to end or you never wanted this to end, something like that. The world is in reverse, so you feel like something is not over. Let me clarify what that is because that's Capricorn energy. And if you get into your mind too much about 
something that you feel defeated on, it's going to make you anxious. You're going to keep worrying and all of that's going to lead to mental illness and you becoming sick and even more stressed. So there has to be a way to navigate something that you can't stop thinking about. There's something you can't stop thinking about. And I'm not saying that you have to stop thinking about it, but there is a way to, to just tone it down or navigate through it in a more safe way. Too much of anything will hurt you, you know? So even if that is getting a therapist or finding someone that you're comfortable talking to on a regular basis, finding some sort of project that you can put your mind into. Um, but you have to be on alert when it comes to where your mind goes, is what I'm getting. Clarify the world in reverse. Clarify the world in reverse for Leo. All right, whatever this is that you can't stop thinking about, it just constantly makes you in this energy of like, it's a self-esteem thing too. So because of something that you feel shouldn't have ended or something that you feel is not over, you're constantly blaming yourself or saying that you did something wrong and I don't necessarily feel that that's true. I don't feel that whatever it is that happened was a full result of what you did to somebody. There's this Four of Cups energy where it's like you're just not satisfied with something and sometimes you just want to give up on it, but you can't give up. Your mind will play tricks on you if you don't control it. You have to control the way that your mind switches up because if you let your mind just do whatever it wants, then you're going to end up in a place that leads to depression. So try your best to control your thoughts here. We have the Two of Knives energy. This is something that, you it's like you can't stop thinking about it, but you're very defensive when somebody brings it up too. I totally understand, I get it, but it's coming out as it's a problem, you know? It's a problem because it's consuming you. And if you become consumed, then there's no room to elevate. There's no room to grow. So you have to free up space, right? You got to free up space in order to download more apps, metaphorically speaking. You know what I mean? Let's take a look at the future. We have Capricorn energy here in the future. Why is that? Why is that in the future here for Leo? The Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Cups. So it's like you're willing to do whatever you have to do to make sure that you're stable. So I don't see you giving up. Even in the face of conflict, controversy, drama, overthinking, anxiety, depression, you keep going. The 10 of pentacles, people are still gonna come together. You're still gonna keep the family tight. We have even more people together here. You're not going to let the devil stop you. I see that. So if that's your potential in the future, we have to take care of what's happening in the present. Something needs to really, 
I'm looking for the right word, right? It's like something needs to definitely be altered a little bit, just a little bit. You could be working on that too. I mean, this is work and progress, right? Work in progress, whatever you want to call it. You are progressing, but this is kind of like an alert of you may be overthinking a little too much and that leads to high blood pressure, you know, um, cardiac issues, stress. I mean, that's something that, you know, you're getting older, so you can't, right now you have to work on that is what the energy is saying. But I feel like you're gonna be okay because we have the 10 of cups. We have the 10 of pentacles. Those cards are indications of growth in relationships and the fact that the family is going to benefit from that growth. And for you to understand that you're not the only one that has gone through the things that you have faced in your life and perhaps you could come up with some type of social circle of whomever it is in that circle that have been through those same things so that you guys can talk to each other about how you have overcome the same obstacle. So creating like a network would be very beneficial. All right, so that's what I have for you, Leo. I wanna thank you for watching. To book a private session, all of that info is below. Take care.